Apocalypse. <laughs> Yo, what up everybody, how's it going? Uh, so I just recently started a new job working for a bakery, Friends, Friends Bakery. And if you're in Utah and you're a fan of like Dunford and uh, a lot of that other stuff, that's what I work for now. But in working for this new company, I also get to try new product. So this bread has never been on the shelf before and I'm going to review it today. So here is the bread that we will be reviewing. Sweet brown. Uh, never even heard of this stuff. It's not on the market. You cannot find it in any store. We're going to be trying that. Dunford. I know a lot of people in Utah are a fan of Dunford. You got the Dunford white, the Dunford wheat. This is Dunford, a multi-grain. Uh, kind of excited to try that one. Naked. A lot of people are into the naked, less preservatives, better, healthier bread, right? Sprouted wheat. We're going to be trying that too. And then, classic... Broshi, never heard of that either. We're gonna be giving it a try, four loaves. Now I was thinking, I was like, why don't I just make four sandwiches? Well, I cannot eat four sandwiches in one sitting. So, uh, gonna be making four pieces of toast. Just be putting a little bit of butter on them, should be good. Toasting all four pieces at the same time. Okay, here we go. So these have all been lightly toasted with a little bit of butter on them for the best flavor. And I know you can't see my head. I'm trying to make it so you can see the bread. So here we go, trying the Brioche Classic Seattle first. Tastes like bread. <laughs> it's good. You know, a little different. Has like a, I don't know, I need another bite. Good bread. Something I've learned since I've started working for a bread company is uh, bread tastes good. You just have to buy the right shit, you know? And uh, classic brioche, it's good. It's good, it's got good flavor. Great for toast. Um, eight out of ten. Okay. Now we're moving on to the sweet brown, which is this one here. Remember, lightly toasted, light butter for excessive flavor. Dang! <laughs> okay, you know when you're trying to buy healthy bread, and you're like trying to get these multi-grains, and the multi-grains kind of, they, they just kind of, like they taste good, but they just taste like really, like they have like a lot of like nuts and seeds on them. This sweet brown, is really good. It has a good sweetness to it, but it also tastes healthy though. At the same time, it doesn't doesn't taste like you're just eating white bread. There's like the little seed things on the top. This is good. This is good bread. Sweet brown. This one right here. That's gonna that's gonna be a nine out of ten. So what did I say? I said. Six or six or seven out of ten. This is nine out of ten. There's some good stuff right here. Sweet brown. It's healthy and uh, tastes good, or it's it's more healthy, I should say. Now we're moving on to the naked. Uh, naked bread's the best. Sprouted wheat. Let's do this. So I'm gonna tell you something. Quick story, real fast. Me and my wife, I'm a broadcast college kid. Okay. We'd always go to the store. 
And you go into Walmart and they have that 88 cents bread. You'd always buy it because you're like, heh, bread, 88 cents. Absolutely no flavor. And it's like the 80 20 rule. It's 80% uh, yeast, 20% ingredients. So when you're buying that 88 cents bread, you're literally buying just cloud. You're buying bread that has just so much yeast in it. It literally has no flavor. And then you buy these other breads, you know, less preservatives, stuff like that. And there's so much flavor in them because they're 80% ingredients, 20% yeast. This naked bread is on the more healthier side and it does have a good flavor to it. So just so you know, I know a lot of people that want to cut bread because, you know, bread bloats you. Well, why don't you just get good healthy bread? Naked bread has less preservatives in it. That's some good tasting wheat bread. I'm not even that big of a bread guy and I freaking just toast. Also, you get like a, you know, you make like a good sandwich with some good bread. Sandwich is so much better. That's pretty good. So here we go. Six or seven out of ten. Nine out of ten. Drummel. The Naked Sprouted. Uh, I don't know. I'll give it an eight. It tastes really good. It tastes really good and healthy. And you can't really complain, right? I haven't tasted any bread that I was like, eh. Nah, this is all good stuff. So here we are in the grand finale, the Dunford. If you're in Utah, like I said, this is Salt Lake. A lot of this stuff is uh, locally baked. Uh, a lot of it's actually baked up in Idaho. But the Dunford is in Salt Lake. We bought them out a couple years ago. So, uh, multi-grain Dunford. And I've tried, I have tried the wheat and I have tried the white. So here we go for the multi-grain. Dang. I need another bite just to be sure. That's freaking bomb. <laughs> Six or seven out of ten. Nine out of ten. Eight out of ten. I don't know. Let me try the sweet and then let me try. So I just tried this, let me try sweet again. Okay guys, I'm sorry. Brown's the winner. Sweet brown tastes the best. So six out of 10, I'm actually gonna say this is a 10, this is an eight, and this is gonna be nine. Pretty good. I remember growing up, you'd have a piece of bread for like your hot dog bun and uh, everything. And uh, it's kind of cool working at a bakery because then you, you know, I don't bake the bread. I sell, I deliver the bread. It's actually been a really great job so far. So here we are. Let me just say them again. The Broshi, Sweet Brown, Naked Sprouted Wheat, and the Dunford Multigrain. They, uh, they're testing them right now. Four new great flavors. I don't see why the public wouldn't like them. Let's get them out. They're freaking good. Uh, if you're new to the channel, Hit the subscribe button and uh, see you guys later. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.